Hey, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to add negative keywords in Google Ads. I'm going to show you how to add them to search campaigns, performance max campaigns, and how negative broad phrase and exact match actually work. Before we start adding negative keywords to our account, it's helpful to quickly understand what they do. Negative keywords stop your ads from showing when someone searches for something you don't want to target. For example, if you don't offer anything for free, then you'll want to add free as a negative keyword. This means that when people include free in their search query, your ads won't appear. This helps you avoid low quality clicks, reduce wasted spend, and direct your budget towards the people who are more likely to convert. Okay, let's start by adding negative keywords to our search campaign. We're already in my demo account, so let's use the drop down at the top to open the search campaign. Now that we're looking at the search campaign, let's select audiences, keywords, and content on the left and choose keywords. We're now looking at all the keywords we're targeting in the campaign. So to view any existing negative keywords and add new ones, let's select the negative keywords tab at the top. We can now see there are already some negative keywords that have been added. And to add more negative keywords, we can click the plus sign. We can then add any additional keywords we want to exclude. You'll also notice that campaign is selected, but if you want to add negative keywords to individual ad groups inside your search campaigns, you can select this and choose add group. You'll then need to select an ad group. Since I want to add negative keywords at the campaign level, let's change this back. For your campaign, there might be some negative keywords that immediately come to mind. Popular negative keywords include free, cheap, and jobs. So if you're not giving away something for free, if you don't have the cheapest offer, and if you're not trying to recruit people, these could be worth adding as negative keywords. For my campaign, I'm going to add vocabulary as a negative keyword because I found this doesn't quite connect with my campaign objectives. When you're happy, you can click save. And we can see the negative keyword has been added. So if you know which negative keywords you want to add, you now know where to add them. But what if you're not sure what to add as negative keywords? Well, if your search campaign has been running, you can see search queries people have used to trigger your ads. You can then decide if any of these should be added as negative keywords. To see the search terms for the campaign, let's select Insights and Reports, then choose Search Terms. We can now see all of the search terms that have triggered our ads. And in case you're wondering, the search campaign in my demo account is being used to advertise my Google Analytics glossary. So all of the keywords are related to my glossary. An important thing to look for is any terms that don't have a green check mark in the added excluded column. This means they were matched using one of the positive match types, including broad match, phrase match, and other close variants. You should spend time reviewing these, and if there are any search terms that aren't relevant to your offer, you should add them as negative keywords to exclude them in the future. For example, we can see the search term with the most clicks is Google Analytics. This is a little too broad and doesn't directly relate to my glossary. So let's add this as a negative keyword. To do this, let's click the checkbox on the left and then click add as negative keyword at the top. The default options will mean that this keyword is added at the ad group level. Since this is a very broad general keyword I want to exclude, let's change this to campaign. The other default is that the negative keyword will be added as a negative exact match keyword by default. This means that our ads will only stop showing for people who have searched for the exact keyword. 
In other words, once we add this as a negative, our ads won't show when people search for Google Analytics, but our ads can still show if someone searched for Google Analytics terms, how to use Google Analytics, and any other search queries where there is something before or after Google Analytics. Since I do want to show my ads for other search queries that contain the keyword Google Analytics, adding this one as a negative exact match is actually what I want. So let's click save. Now let's continue reviewing the search terms report. Let's travel to the next set of search terms. And looking at the search terms, we can see there is one for Google Analytics sign-in. Since this doesn't directly relate to my Google Analytics glossary, I'm going to exclude this one too. So let's select the checkbox to the left and let's click add as negative keyword. Again, I'm going to change this to a campaign level keyword and let's adjust the negative keyword. Instead of an exact match negative keyword of Google Analytics sign in, let's remove Google Analytics, let's remove the square brackets and let's add quote marks before and after sign in. This means we'll be adding a negative phrase match keyword. So if someone enters a search query that includes the phrase sign in, our ads won't be displayed. This means we will prevent other variations of the search term from triggering our ads. Now let's click save. We can now continue reviewing our search terms. And we can keep going. Here we can see the search term of Google Analytics project. Let's select the checkbox to exclude this. Let's change this so it's at the campaign level. And for this term, we're going to adjust it slightly so it's a negative broad match keyword. I'm going to remove the square brackets and I'm also going to remove Google Analytics so we're just left with project. This means whenever someone searches for a keyword containing project, our ads won't be triggered. I can now save this. We've now added negative keywords using the different match types to our campaign. Now let's look at how to add negative keywords to our Performance Max campaigns. To do this, let's open the Performance Max campaign in my demo account. We're still looking at the search terms report, but this time it's for the Performance Max campaign. You can now complete the exact same steps that were used for our search campaign. So you should take the time to review all of the search terms that have triggered your ads. If there are any that are not relevant to the offer for your Performance Max campaign, you should add them as negative keywords. You just need to select the checkbox, Click add as negative keyword at the top. You can then adjust the keyword and match type at the top. And to view the existing negative keywords for your Performance Max campaign, we select keywords under audiences, keywords and content. Since Performance Max campaigns automatically target keywords, you'll notice we're automatically on the negative keywords tab. You can then review the existing negative keywords and add new ones by clicking the plus sign. So that's how to add negative keywords to your search campaigns and performance max campaigns in Google Ads. And remember, negative keywords are one of the simplest ways to improve your results and reduce wasted spend. To learn more about keyword match types for your campaigns, you can find extra resources in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please like it so I know to make more videos like this one. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel to learn even more about Google Ads and Google's other tools. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.